Moving on to the Rose Bowl, and we have got Ohio State against Utah. This is 5 p.m. Eastern time, of course, on New Year's Day. Utah currently a four and a half point underdog. Let's uh, let's talk about the bowl gifts here. We've got the ahem, gift suite. I mean, what are we doing? I, I hate that so much. Uh, the fossil watch, an OGO backpack, a new era 950 snapback hat. Not bad. Not bad. So, okay, I, I will roll with this. Uh, I'd hate the gift suites, but uh, alas, it is what it is. Ohio State, ton of guys opting out on this one. They have got, uh, let's see, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, Nicholas petit uh Haskell Garrett, etc. And they still have a whole stable of wide receivers and five stars and etc. that will take over for these guys. My question is exactly how fired up has Ohio State been for this game? I think Utah really wants this game. Really, really wants this game. This is the worst bowl matchup that Ohio State could possibly have. Ohio State can't stop the run. They are, let's see, number 124 in defensive rushing success rate allowed. Uh, They are number 84 in defensive PPA per rush. That's predicted points added per rush. They have not looked good at all. Uh, And Utah's offense has absolutely been clicking with Cam Rising uh, pretty much since they put him in. I mean, they have been really, really good. I I think that this game means more for Utah, which is goofy, and I know that people are going to get mad about it, but I'm not saying that Ohio State doesn't care. I'm saying that Utah cares more about this. This is not a playoff game for Ohio State, and, and they are playoff or bust. So I am riding with Utah. Uh, you can go over to BetUS and check out the official pick over there, Utah plus four and a half. I... I like it. The Bet U.S. College Football Show, you need to go and check that out for sure. But I I like Cam Rising. I think he'll be able to have some success. That running back room for Utah and Kyle Whittingham and that bunch, which, by the way, is Whittingham going to retire after this game? I mean, he's mid-60s, roundabout, or early 60s, I guess. But uh, we just saw Brock Mendenhall Mendenhall do it, so who knows? Who knows? But I do like Utah to cover four and a half there. I've already bet him at seven. I I will bet him at four and a half again. Uh, I've already hit the money line. Like, I'm... I'm all in on Utah, and it will, uh, who knows, it might cost me. It might really cost me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.